Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see a program example which illustrates Q algorithm. Define a class, repeat, which allows the user to add elements from one end, that is rear, and remove the elements from other end, that is front. Now here also it is not given that it is a Q program, but uh, you can see the keywords the rear and front which will be used in Q. So you can decide it is a Q program. So you are going to insert from rear end and you are going to remove the elements from the front end. Now you are going to see the uh, class repeat uh, details, that is uh, class details. Uh, class name is repeat, which uh, it has some data members. First data member is uh, array variable SP which can hold up to maximum of 100 uh, integer elements and uh, second uh, data member is cap which stores the capacity of the array so while executing the program you can decide how many elements you are going to insert so that is the capacity of the array then the third uh, data member is f to point the index to the front so this will uh, indicate uh, where the uh, index value is of front and the next variable, uh, next uh, data member is R, that is to point the index of the rear. So here it will indicate uh, the rear index. So these two variables, F and R are the very important uh, variables which will uh, determine whether the uh, Q is full or uh, it is empty or the po uh, current position of the elements. Then you have some uh, member methods, okay, or you can say member functions. First function is a constructor repeat which has an argument that is like a parameterized constructor which has an argument m which is used to in, uh, initialize the data members cap equal to m and then with the default values m equal to f equal to 0 and r equal to 0 and also to create the integer array then you have a method called void push value which is used to insert the value which is given in the given as the parameter that is v to add integers from the rear index if possible else display the message overflow so check whether before inserting check whether the <coughs> q is and q is full or not we uh, checking a condition and display if it is full as overflow otherwise you are going to uh, insert the value into the q next function is in the int pop value so which is used to remove and return remove the return element and from the front so you are going to remove one by one from the front as you uh, execute this pop value if the array is empty then display the return the value minus 999 so here you are not asking to display any message you are going to just return the uh, <coughs> element or return the default value that is minus 999 has been uh, returned then you have one more function to display the elements in the present in the list so in the queue okay so these are the uh, data members and member functions available in the class repeat so now you are going to see the program in bluej i have created a class repeat which has data members first one is the array variable that is st which can hold up to 100 elements and then you have three variables cap to store the capacity f to store the index of uh, front and then r to store the index of rear then it has an constructor parameterized constructor with the parameter m which is which will store the initial value of capacity so cap will be stored uh, with the value which is stored in m and then it has uh, two variables uh, that is f and r which will be stored with the default value that is zero the first function is uh, push value which has a parameter v that is the element which is going to be inserted into the queue so before inserting to the queue check whether the uh, queue is uh, full so how to check whether the queue is full is if the r value is equal to cap that is capacity maximum value so r value while inserting will increases the value from 0 to n that is cap once it reaches cap when it's equal to cap that means the uh, queue is full so you are going to display a message overflow otherwise that is if the queue is not uh, full you are going to store the element that is stored in v into the queue that is st now you are going to use r plus plus that means uh, in stack we were using plus plus top the reason is top uh, was initialized as minus one but here r is initialized as zero so first value will be zero so after storing the element into the zeroth position then you increase the increase the value of r that means r value becomes one that means uh, r value uh, will be in advance that is plus one every time Next, next function is pop value 
here in uh, in this case you should uh, check for two conditions two instances the queue will be empty first one is when the for the first time uh, when you uh, delete okay before inserting you are uh, queue is empty so in that case if the r value is zero okay first time okay by mistake if you press uh, delete operation before inserting you should not have any problem with the program that is the program should run smoothly so you are checking whether r value is zero if it is zero return minus 9999 otherwise second instance when it becomes empty so when the uh, when you keep on removing the elements the f value that is front value will be increased because the uh, delete operation will occur from front fr front uh, front end so once you remove the front value as we we discussed in the algorithm uh, f value keep on moving towards this right when it reaches r as you discussed earlier r value will be uh, one value one uh, position higher okay say for example if you have three elements r va r value will be four so when the front value also reaches four that means you don't have any element in fourth position then you are going to display that is it is empty that is return minus 9999 so these two instances you will be returning this uh, default value otherwise you are going to return the element and then increase the value of f that means first element is being removed that is zero f f zero value will uh, f f will have the value zero so st of zero will be removed after removing that element f value is increased by one that is it becomes one so that zeroth position will not be shown later now you are going to have another function which is used to display the uh, array that is q so actually it is the disk so here you are going to have a loop which will starts from the f value that is the front and goes on till the r value that is the rear since uh, r value is one at one plus advanced okay that is the one value advanced so you are going to give less than less than r so that it will work without any problem okay so it will display the uh, uh, array variable and then you have a main method which is to, uh, practical purpose you have done this otherwise in exams you no need to do this uh, main function okay here you are going to uh, same like stack i am going to uh, i just reuse the same main function here the capacitor q has been uh, accepted which is stored in n then i am going to send it to a parameter okay that is repeat constructor will be executed which has the parameter n will be passed on to that then i used an loop statement so that i can keep on executing and show you, show you the insert and delete operation uh, at, at a stretch and then finally come out when the menu is that is uh, 3 has been inserted that is when you uh, when you press 1 it will insert the item when you press 2 it will delete the item when you press 3 it will come out of it so you are going to enter the choice okay from the user and then check whether the choice equal to 3 then break so this is this is what we did done in the previous program also else you are going to go for the choice if the choice is 1 then enter the element you are going to store which is stored in num and then that will be uh, sent to the push value okay once uh, that condition has been checked and then it inserted you are going to display the repeat array after insertion operation so you are going to display that is you are going to use uh, display method you are going to call display method okay now if the case is 2 you are going to pop the value so pop the value and the return value will be stored in value here and then you can see that uh, element deleted is value will be displayed repeat array after delete operation that also will be executed and then you are going to close the program so you are going to compile this so no errors i execute the program so first i am going to insert say 3 as the capacity of q so first item is going to be inserted so i am uh, entering say 12 so you can see repeat after insertion 12 has been stored in this again i am going to insert 1 so enter the element that is 23 now you can see uh, repeat array after insertion two element has been inserted now third one uh, third element so i am going for one again inserting the third element so 34 so you can see three element is inserted now i am going to insert again one enter the element uh, say 45 
now you can see that uh, it is over for that is it can accept only maximum three elements so since it is already uh, have three elements in the queue it's showing overflow and uh, you can see that 45 is not included in this and also you can see that it, other than uh, not like uh, stack it is in the same order okay now i'm going to delete it so i'm going to press 2 so you can see the first element is deleted so that means the front end will be deleted now 23 will be the first element Again, I'm pressing 2. You can see that second value has also been deleted. And then uh, I'm going to go for another 2 that is a delete item. You can see now it has been over. That is, uh, no, uh, after deleting, you, you don't see any elements in the array. Now, again, I'm pressing 2. Now you can see uh, element deleted is minus 9. So it is returning the value minus 9999. Okay. So then uh, that's all about the insert and delete item. Finally, I'm going to press 3 to come out of it. Okay. So, this is the insert and delete operation of a queue, which has been illustrated with a program example. Hope you understood the uh, program example. Uh, we'll meet in the next video. Till then, thank you.